Got a friend. May the 13th, Medway Park Leisure Centre in Gillingham. A few thoughts about some of the fights. A. Cash Batia, Ben Jones. Cracking little scrap. Shame it got cut short early. It was a good fight. Um, you know, I know it got stopped when we went to the new rule, which sometimes, some people say it's controversial, it's not controversial, but the right decision was given there. And, um, you know, I think Ben Jones showed a lot of improvement. For the last time I knew he boxed for us, he looked very bad. And um, I was very disappointed in him. But tonight, he showed a lot of improvement. And I, and I was impressed with Cash Batcher. He stuck to his guns right. Some people had Cash in front, um, the more skillful boxer. But I, I, I think I agree with the result that Ben Jones just done enough. Too strong, he's too strong, he's too mature. strong and, and, and too mature. I think Cash has been at the rim for too long as well, and it was a hard fight to come back with. Similar, Brian Rose, a bit too strong for Martin Welsh. A bit too strong, a bit too experienced, and um, just all round too knowledgeable for Martin Walsh. It was, a, it was a step too soon for Martin Walsh. It was a great performance, maybe the wrong, the wrong tactics used, but you know, it, the crowd enjoyed it and you know, no one, no one made a bad stoppage, so it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good result, a good fight. What do you see happening next for Brian? For, for Brian? For Brian? Uh, maybe we're, they'll look at Prince Aaron, I don't know, I mean, I haven't got any options on Prince Aaron, so I can't really say, but um, Hopefully um, we can um, we can make a fight for him or a defence of his um, a defence of his English title against the winner of um, Liam Cameron and Eric Oshin. Be a good fight, yeah. Dylan White, a uh, successful debut, good learning fight. Yeah, an exciting prospect of the heavyweight ranks. You know, um, reminded me of a uh, young Gary Mason, uh, one to watch for the future. And, and cancel a ticket, which is quite good. What about his opponent? I mean, worth for him. So, you know, so many opponents get a bit of stick, but he was durable. He was game, wasn't he? Oh, you can't take nothing away from the opponent. I mean, I, I thought it was going to be a first round stoppage, but you know what? He, he's a, he, he stuck in there, the opponent. He certainly came and earned his money. Tom Dallas, another good learning fight for him. Zach Page, awkward, cagey, experienced. Uh, uh, truthful, it wasn't a good fight. I was disappointed with the fight. I was disappointed with the performance. It was a chance for Tom to shine for live on uh, Chief Support on Sky Television. He he didn't deliver. Um, he got the result, which counts. A win is a win. That's important. I think we were very lucky to get the win. So um, some you know uh, tonight maybe the leprechaun smiled on us, and we um, you know we got we got we got a result. Uh, some people will say it was a hometown decision, but you know that's boxing. Next fight for him needs to just learn a bit more and have a learning it's, fight. We'll sit down and we'll we'll sit down and talk with the team. Um, you know, it's only young. As, as long as Tom has learned from that, then then the fight will not be a waste of a fight. That's that's the best thing to say about that. Zach Page is very awkward. I accept that, but I, I just think Tom used the wrong tactics and got a bit frustrated. Okay, on the main event then. What can you say about that? Same where Prince Owen, fight of the year contender. I would say one of the most brutal fights I've seen for a very, very long time. You know, I don't really want to say too much yet because no. Sam Webb's gone to the hospital. Um, hope, we know he's not too serious, but you know, it was a war. I would be very surprised to see, you know, what Sam Webb comes back with when we have a chat and sit down in the chat. That was a, a bad beat, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, a bad fight. It was them sort of fights can end fights careers. Let's hope it hasn't ended the same Webb's career. A word for Prince Aaron, I mean, great no, performance. Very, listen, you can't take that away from Prince Aaron. He was the underdog, he was the younger man. The first three rounds looked like a man against a boy in Sam Webb's favour. Yeah. And then it all suddenly changed. So I, all I can say is congratulations to Prince Aaron and um, you know, just watch his career go forward. Moving on then, next show, Liverpool in June. Uh, John McDermott versus David Price, that'll be a good fight, won't it? Yep, um, we've got May the 28th in Sheffield first in association with Dennis Hobson. But you know, uh, then we go to Liverpool. But you know, today, May the 13th is all about tonight. And I'm, I'm very impressed with the team and the work they've put in here at Gillingham. And, um, the, the attendance was first class and the atmosphere was great for every fight, so I think the fandom was very happy tonight.